What's going on, people? This is Tashira Rase for Computer Music Academy, and welcome to CMA Answers. Today, I'm going to answer a question for a very good friend of mine named Carla. She's actually just getting into Ableton Live, and she recently had a situation where she wanted to take a very small piece of a song and loop it to make it longer. Now, this is a very simple tutorial, but I'm going to show you a couple different ways to get it done. First and foremost, let's get our loop. Just a very simple four bar loop. What's going to make this process very simple is one, making sure that your clip is warped, two, making sure that your grid is on. That way, you know exactly where your bars begin. So, since this is a four bar loop, we can just squash it down to two, highlight it, hit Control D to duplicate, and Very seamless loop. Pretty simple. And here is the other method. Let's uh, go back to the original length. Down here in the clip view, you can actually grab the loop brackets, drag it down to two bars, or over here under loop, go to loop length and take that down to two bars. Now, what you have up top is two copies of the first two bars. And of course, you can take it down, squash it down to one. Or if you're familiar with uh, Sony Acid, you can drag it all the way out as long as you need to go. And that's it. So thank you to Carla for giving me the idea for the video. And to those of you watching, if you enjoyed it, please like and share. If you have any questions of your own, leave them in a comment down below. And for everything dealing with computer music, join us at computermusicacademy.com. See you next time.